government shuts down, do I get paid? Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and the big question on everybody's mind today is, if there's a government shutdown at the end of fiscal year 2023, like, am I going to get paid? Now, the good news is, the answer to that question is yes. However, the why and the when, well, that varies depending on your employment category. Basically, within DOD, you got three types of employees. You got the military, you got the government civilians, and then you have the contractors. All right, so let's review why there might be a government shutdown. It all comes down to the fact that there would be a lapse of government appropriations. You see, Congress appropriates money for the executive branch to spend, and they set time limits on it. And usually those time limits end at the end of a federal fiscal year. And if Congress doesn't enact a, a new appropriation for the new fiscal year, eh, you run into problems. Usually that problem is resolved by a continuing resolution where Congress just modifies the existing appropriations, kind of stretches them out. But in some cases, there can be a government shutdown. The first thing to understand about a government shutdown is it does not have to apply to all federal agencies. You can have the Department of the Interior shut down while the Department of Agriculture keeps doing what they do. But back to you guys in the Department of Defense. If you are active duty military, actually even reserve military, the odds are that Congress is going to take steps to make sure that you keep getting paid. They're going to exclude you from the shutdown. That has happened with every single shutdown, and I just can't imagine the Congress that would think it's a good idea for the people with all the guns to have nothing to do and not be getting paid. All right, so military are going to get paid. On the bottom of the scale, contractors are going to get paid because they actually get paid by their employer, not the federal government. Well, technically, the federal government pays the contracting company, which then pays the contract employee. But the federal government can't have a contract that they don't have money for. So even if the contract runs past the end of the fiscal year, like, like mine does, the money to pay for that contracting company and all those contract employees, it has already been set aside by the government. So contract employees are going to continue to get paid. And the only way that they wouldn't get paid is if their contract ran out while there was a government shutdown. That just leaves us with government civilians. And here there is some really good news that was put in place back in 2019. U.S. Code, Title 31, Section 1341, subparagraph C2 says each employee of the United States government furloughed as a result of a lapse in appropriation shall be paid for the period of the lapse in appropriations. That's pretty good. I mean, in the past, it's always been sort of the tradition that civilian employees who were furloughed because of a government shutdown, they got paid for the time when they weren't working. But it was never certain that that was going to happen. But now with this new law, it is certain that you're going to get paid. The only question remains, when? Well, back to the law. That paragraph goes on to say that these employees are paid at the earliest date possible after the lapse of appropriation. That also is pretty cool because it means as soon as the government shutdown ends, you get paid. Now look, there is one fiddly little thing that's going on here that I think is worth talking about. If you are a furloughed employee, you are not allowed to volunteer work. That's actually a violation of the Anti-Deficiency Act. And you, can, you can learn more about that in my video about the color of money. Now, when there is a government shutdown, there's a group of people who do not get furloughed. These are called accepted, and they're usually people who deal with safety or protection of property or the functioning of things that are funded. And for those of you who get furloughed, I kind of feel like there's a, I don't know, I think of it as a moral or ethical dilemma. By law, the furloughed employee is not allowed to work, but that furloughed employee knows he's going to get paid for not working. And at the same time, his battle buddy is back at work, sweating away in the coal mines all by himself. So here's the dilemma. If your buddy who's still working calls you, do you help him? or not. As a private citizen 
who does not speak for the federal government, I argue that it's kind of ignorant to answer the phone by saying, I'm not allowed to do government work. Instead, I kind of think about it this way. You and your old battle buddy, you can always have a phone call and reminisce about the good old days. If they ask you where you kept things, sure, share that with them. Personally, I would draw the line at talking. I wouldn't type anything up. I wouldn't make any PowerPoint slides. I'll tell you where the wrench is, but I'm not touching the wrench. And finally, keep this in mind. If there is a government shutdown, it is also going to end. And when it ends, we're all going to have to come back together and work together. So don't do anything that damages relations so much that, I don't know, there's lingering effects. And in the meantime, if you want to understand more about how the federal fiscal year drives what we're seeing, check out this video.